success leaves clues. So for instance, whenever I'm in a space that doesn't feel as natural to me, I begin to do the things that I just asked you guys to do. I started looking around my life. Who, who do I need to clear with? There was a dude who was a friend who betrayed me in a major way. And uh, he did it multiple times. And for five years, we've been at this. And for five years, every time he reached out, trying to quote unquote, clear it up, it felt like he was just adding more drama to it and not actually owning any of it. So what I was, was a you. I'd be like, I'm not available and you, okay? And then my birthday would come or something would happen online and he'd be like, hey, just wanted to reach out and just X, Y, and Z, right? So long story short, he reached out recently and it was one of those moments where I was like, okay, I'm still not a space. And guys, you reserve the right to never be friends with somebody ever again if you don't want to. I'm still don't want to be this dude's friend. And yet I can do this differently because when I'm cutting the cord all the other times, it's like I'm cutting it and it's a f you in there. This time I was like, bro, I hear you. I see you. I know you care. And I am not personally available to be your friend anymore. I wish you nothing but the best. I listened to your new song. It sounds amazing. I'm glad you're still doing your thing. Please, for my sake and yours, stop reaching out to me, not because I hate you, but because I'm not a space. We have evolved and grown and I'm just not here for it. You guys see the difference between that and like, that is always available to us.